Hi guys, good to have you all back. It is Friday and we're doing Foul Folder February. <laughs> In case you missed it, I've made this one last Wednesday. This is the Field Notes Journal Folio Lab Book Hybrid. And I've used the um, Field Notes Digital Kit that is still available. It's on Kofi. I'm going to link it below in case you want to have a play along. Okay, now I have made a playlist for all the videos that I'm doing for File Folder February. So if you missed this one, you want to catch up, go check it out. Um, the plan for today. I am going to do something in the journal. I want to add a signature. I want to add pockets decorating the works. Yeah. So let me show you the supplies that I want to use for today and uh, tell you a little bit more about this plan. For papers, well, obviously I'm going to use the, the digital kit, uh, some of the full pages, but also a lot of the ephemera because we haven't even touched the ephemera yet. Well, not really. Um, and for the signature, I've also some beautiful vintage antique papers on my desk that I want to add uh, in the signature along uh, with the full pages. I have a piece of the file folder in case I need cardstock. This is very heavy cardstock, I might add. Um, that's it for papers. I don't think I am going to add more bits and bobs. Well, I have whole reinforcers. Probably a tab. Maybe. I don't know. I don't even know. Um, for the other supplies, I'll probably use some hardware like eyelets or brads. I want to do some stamping. Uh, field notes. I have field notes out. And I think I want to use either this. This is from the um, uh, Creative Expression Sample Beautiful Garden. Because I love this ledger piece. Or or this one. And this is Timeless Rose. Now for the for the eyelets I need a cropper dial. I'll probably need a scoreboard. Paper trimmer. Glue, scissors, ruler, knife. The usual corner rounder most likely. Uh, and I have my uh, binding kit. Now I'm using wax thread uh, for, for the binding. But you could also use, you know, uh, embroidery floss or whatever. You need uh, something that pokes holes. Pokey tool, also known as all. And a big needle. Distressing. Scorched timber. Uh, splatter stamp. I don't know, guys. I'm going to let my creativity run. But first I'm going to do the signature so we're starting with the signature i have printed out three of the pages guys i am using these three two of them with the ring binder in the middle because i really want to sort of utilize this and then this one because i really want to utilize this which is the same as this one and then on the backs on all of them i printed out the ledger yeah so we have some ledger on the, on the backs and this i've printed on 160 grams yeah so we're going to use this then i have some a french hand, handwritten whatever this is also french this is a letter and sort of a receipt or an invoice from 1942 it's this is old guys 1963 and don't even know some old music paper i have two coffee dyed pages this has sort of a, a i didn't make this i got this in happy mail probably uh, it has sort of a doily on it. Cool, right? And this is like um, a modern sort of, I don't know, where you can put something on. And I copy dyed it. And antique um, ledger. So I'm going to use these uh, papers, um, on, you know, for pages in my journal. But first I'm going to concentrate on these ones. Now, here are the measurements for my journal. I'm going to measure this. This is actually... Four and a half inches, a little bit uh, shorter than four and a half inches. So I need to make sure that the width of my sort of pages is shorter than the four and a half. So I'm going to make them four and a quarter, four and a quarter inches. The the spine, the signature is going to be here in the spine, guys. So the height is perfect um, because uh, this is. Um, a four size which is eight and a quarter and i made the journal eight and a half yeah so don't, i don't need to trim them well these on the top okay here's how i'm going to go about it uh the pages are too big if i fold them in i need to trim stuff off but i don't think i want to trim everything off also i want to have this in the middle so here's my thought process we're going to keep in mind the four and a half inches 
Yes, if your journal is wider, do your own measurements. I want this to be the first page of the, the signature because I really want to show this. Yeah, so I already know I'm going to fold there. I've been doing some thinking ahead, guys. Um, so I, I'm, I'm not going to run into any problems. I'm going to fold here in the center so that you can see the spine. Fold it straight, love. That'll be lovely. There we go. Yes. So I already know that this needs to be four and a half inches. It isn't. <laughs> this is way, way bigger. This is smaller than four and a half inches. However, uh, I think I want to cut something off. I need to make this four and a quarter inch, which is actually sort of on this line. Now I could fold it in, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to cut this off here. Yes, this piece. I'm going to do it with a ruler and a knife. Why not? We're here. So cutting this off, I will probably keep it because you can, well, that's, these are lovely elements to play with. Can you put this on sort of a straight line? That'd be lovely. Not straight. There you go. So I'm just going to cut. Cut here. Knife, please. Scalpel. <laughs> I'm like a surgeon today. So keeping this because... Yes, 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 yes. Even this. Half a label. Half a label. Still there. Okay. But now we have this one here. I'm not going to cut it up. I'm going to fold it in, actually. See what I did? I just did this and then I fold it. Uh, and I'm going to fold the tiniest bit further. I'm going to actually fold it up until this line here. Because we'd like to have this straight. Now you can have this as a flip out. I am however going to make this into a tox spot. It's just a lovely tox spot. And then this is the front of the signature. Let me have a quick look because it's going to go over here. Look how lovely the spine thingy is. Cool, right? I think so. Okay, that was the first. This is going to be the center. So actually the last page we're doing. And this is going to be in the middle. But I'm going to concentrate on this one first. I really want this to be in the center of the signature. So I'm going to fold in the exact middle, hopefully. There we go. I actually need to fold it open because it is going to be the center. Now, um, I am going to measure here four and a quarter inch. Let's put this in the center here. Four and a quarter. There we go. As you can tell, we're going to go straight through the field notes, which makes me sad. So I've decided I'm actually going to fold this in. Like so. So we're going to lose field notes, but that's quite all right. I'd rather lose field notes and have, have yield oats. <laughs> yield oats sounds like something you put in uh, your breakfast cereal or whatever. Okay, so this is going to go that way. Uh, and then we have this one. See this? And I think I want to have this the other, the other way around. So I'm either going to cut it off or I'm going to fold it and make it into talk spots. And because I really love this paper, I've decided on talk spots, pockets, flip outs, whatever. Yes. Fold it this way, fold it that way. Cool? Cool. Okay, last one. Last one. What do we have here? I absolutely love this one. I absolutely love it. What I want to do is make a pocket with this, similar to this one. So I'm just going to fold probably on sort of the same line. 
really love this there we go and there we go have it straight that'd be nice there we go is that straight well according to my paper it is yes so this is already um the pocket now what i'm gonna do is fold this no i need i need um four and a half inches no we're not gonna fold it i'm going to measure it from this side i need four and a quarter inch which is here and then here so this is going to be the center actually the center i'm going to fold it this way because then i can see where i put a small mark yes so we need to lose this bit well, that's quite all right yeah I'm gonna mark it here Lining it up. Yes, because that was nothing fancy on the other side. No. So, page here. Page here. Still looks lovely. This is actually the same as the back. And then we have this one. And I'm going to... I'm not going to make this into a pocket. I'm going to add a big sort of um, tab here. Because it already looks like a tab. So that you can fold it open. And do lovely stuff here. So I'm not going to lose this. Because I love this probably the most. Okay, so we have... The front, somewhere in the middle, and the actual middle, yeah? So now I need to put pages in between here and in between here, but not here. This is going to be the center center. Okay, on to the next pages. So I've cut to size all the other pages and folded them here and there. I'm going to show you uh, a little bit later, guys. But before I can sort of sew the signature in i want to do some stamping here while i'm stamping i'm gonna also gonna do some stamping there here and the tiniest bit here now we should have done this before i did all the decorating but i didn't so i need um, a little bit of assistance i have decided on using the ledgers uh, on this one and on the other one yeah oh that's a big stamp do i have a stamp block that's that big Yes, <laughs> I do. Otherwise, I would have needed my stamp tool. Uh, but I need to cover up some bits that the ink, the stamp won't go. See, if I'm going to put it here, uh, I have this. I have this problem. So I need to cover this up. It's actually too short. <laughs> it's actually too short. Why? Why are you too short? Oh, I'm going to lose a bit. Um, here's what I'm doing. Here's what I'm doing. Somebody told me, try it like this. It's just a line here. So I'm just going to put... I wanted to rip it. <laughs> I did. Yes, it worked. I'm going to put this here. A little bit higher. He ripped off a too short of a piece, lovey. But it'll be fine. There you go. I'm going to put this on. Will it work now? It should. It should. Okay. So. First time I'm doing this, guys. Here goes nothing. I'm using uh, Fallen Leaves from First of Fine Claire. I'm not even touching the tape. Well, sort of. Yes, inked it up. Yeah, then you take it off. There you go. Do not drop it. Don't drop it. Do not drop it. Okay. Will this work? It should. Am I still in frame? Sort of, yeah. didn't work at all because there's a riches in here oh that's okay it's going to be a little bit smudgy smudgy 
and I might add something else to it. What else am I using? There's sort of this um, company name or address. I'm going to have it on here, but not the part that says Paris. Why? You not love Paris? <laughs> Do you want an answer? I actually don't. No, I've been there twice. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's not bad. Just, just, you know, it doesn't work. Because of all the ridges. But that's okay. It's not blank. That's, you know. Okay. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Are you going to try with this one? Yeah. <laughs> On the other side. I just I just don't want it to be blank blank. That's the sort of whole reason why I'm doing this. Um, bigger block. You, you've taken out the exact same size, which is not bigger. I'm not even going to bother with the tape. This should do. Is it upside down? Oh yes, upside down. Don't do it upside down. <laughs> That'll be a disaster. This doesn't have the riches, so this should basically stamp fine. Well, at least better. It's like an extension of the... I'm just going to do it again. Because why not? Again, not upside down, love. Do not do it upside down. There you go. Well, that went better. That went better. Also, I have to do this. I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm going to figure out something else uh, for over there because the stamping is just basically not to my liking. Okay, stamping is on. Now I need to put in the signature. Now you probably see me do this a gazillion times. I'm going to do it a little bit different than what I'd normally do because this is not going to be um, uh, with an elastic binding. Normally, if I have a flat wider spine i do an elastic binding because that works best for me i'm not going to do this uh, i'm going to sort of sew it in um like i would a normal signature but i really want it to be in the center so i'm making a template let me show you so here's my signature i have taken out a piece of cardstock that is the exact same height as the signature now i wanted also wanted the sort of the the holes to be in the sort of right spot. So I, I did one in the exact center and then three inches uh, above and three inches below. So this is sort of my template, right? Okay, so I'm taking this out, finding the center of my signature, putting this in, making sure it lines up. Also, I'm gonna do this top. Because <laughs> sometimes there's a little bit of a difference in here. All the papers in, right side up, everyone aboard. There we go. So I'm going to put it in, yes? Okay. Taking out paper clips. I have two lovely ones. Here's one. Now, there's probably a better way to do this, but this, this is how I do it. Yeah? Do not have it flat. Have it at an angle. Pokey tool. There you go, my pokey tool. Now, I'm going to punch a hole in the center where I made the mark. Just gently twist it, guys, gently twist it. See, comes through, okay. Then I'm gonna do it with the lowest mark. Again, at an angle, gently twisting, and on the top one. Yes, right, right, okay. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to leave these on for now. Now, this is my template. Here I know where to make the, the holes. Now, you can put it on here. I'm going to put it on the, outside, on the outside. 
Yes, I'm going to find the center. That's the top. I'm going to put it on the outside. I'm going to use the paper clips. I think so. Oh, I think so. That's smart. That's not smart because I need... I actually, guys, I'm going to need my crocodile for this. Oh, that's okay. I'm going to mark it first with my pokey tool. So the line that I folded is in the center of the spine. This was the top. It's evenly spaced. Taking out my awl. And I'm just going to punch three small holes. Hopefully this will work. Just to indicate where the holes need to be. Yes? Okay. So this is in the center of my signature. I need holes here. You could just bind it in. But this is what I want to do. I actually want to make uh, a spine on here. With what? I had, I had a piece of paper. Where's my lovely little scrap? Well, I'm going to put something on here. What am I going to put on here? Let me show you. I want to put this on here. So I'm going to cut this piece out. Just sort of the, the spine of the whatever. I'm going to glue it over it. And then I'm going to put in eyelets. Because I just want to. Now, you can put in this eyelet and this eyelet with your crocodile. Not in the middle. So for this, I'm actually taking out my big bite. Um, I have this device. I'm happy I have it. Do I recommend it? No, because I use it twice a year. And it's just, as you can tell, collecting dust. But it does work uh, if you want to put in an eyelet. Farther than further than uh, one inch or or something, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to find the piece of paper that I just shown you, and I'm going to glue it on. Yes, and punch the holes again. <laughs> punch the holes again, so they will be on the outside, and also um, take out some eyelets. Yes, I put the spine thingy on. Punch the holes from the other side. Sort of measured. Will this work? It did. Uh, actually, I need to use my my big bite for all of them because it doesn't uh, fit. Now, guys, if you don't have a big bite, do not be sad. Just try to mimic it with hole reinforcers. Just put your hole reinforcers on. Yeah. Okay. So um, here's the thing. I do not enjoy my big bite. I actually most of the times do not know really how this works. So I'm just gonna try. This is on the biggest oh hopefully it is let's see i have the feeling that this is the smaller setting even is it probably is yes it is i need to punch it again hopefully that was the center Lots of eyeballing when you're doing um, this. And the uh, crocodile itself goes way easier. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then I'm going to use this. I'm going to do it off camera, guys, because bad words will be spoken. So I'm going to put in the eyelets. They're in and they're amazing. I really like this look. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's really, really cool. Okay, I'm hoping this works because I've never tried it like this. So everything, my paper is lined up. I put on the paper clips and I'm going to start in the middle. Now I have wax thread because this is this could be sharp. Well, actually, it is really sharp. So I'm not doing embroidery floss. I think that is a little bit um, too fragile. Uh, two and a half times the length of your journal, guys. Yeah to start in the, in the middle in the center there we go i'm going to put this in the center it's it's going to be trickier than what i normally do leave a little at the end go to the top or the bottom whatever tickles you fancy whatever you want to do loves and then go back in the hole that we made and hopefully it wants to go through all the papers Come on. Is this the same hole? 
Yes. There we go. Okay, put it tight. Put it tight, yes. And then go not back in the center, all the way to the top. Then we have holes here again. And big hole there. This might not work out, but I'm just going to try. <laughs> yeah. Put it tight. And then you go back in the center. This is going to be tricky. Because you need to gauge where um, the center of your signature is. Did that work in the same hole, lovely? Yes. Now, one. There's a big long thread in the middle. One of the threads needs to go to this side and one needs to go to that side. I'm going to check real quick. That worked. Yes, that works. Basically, works fine. Works just fine. Oh, that opens up so many possibilities for other journals. Yes, big spine for a uh, hole ring for, uh, what's going to call it? Eyelets. So cool. Well, I can pull it tight because there's metal underneath now. <laughs> I'm not going to make a ball. I'm going to make a double knot. So, not knot. Who's there? Did I do it upside down? No, you didn't. No, love. Way too much. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it worked. I am so happy that this worked. And it look, lo looks like it's ring bound now. Isn't that cool? It's just the coolest. I already know this video is going to go over an hour because I have another idea that I really want to use on this. The journal is in, but it sort of flaps out. That's quite all right because you need to go through it. But I want to make something that goes sort of all around it that closes it up, like something like this. So I have this piece left. So here's the idea. I'm going to put it on the back, make scores like these. And then fold it over and sort of attach it here with uh, one of the Velcro things like this. But then, like so. Yeah? But I want to make it look like it's old leather. So I am not scoring yet. I am not doing anything to it. I've taken out two brads because I want to make it look like it was sort of leather. A uh, piece of paper because I want to do some grunching. I'm going to grunge it up first, sort of in the middle. Taking out tea dye. No clue if this will do, has, has any effect on the... Yes, it has. A little bit. Makes it look a little bit older. I'm going to do the other side as well. Okay. Then, I'm, I do have... I was looking for a stamp that's sort of leather. What would have been fantastic if I had an embossing folder that looks like leather, but I don't. I have this one from Mr. Tim Holtz. It's, it's shattered. And it will have to do... I'm going to do this part over here. Uh, what am I using? Are you going to go dark? I'm not going to go that dark. I'm doing a vintage photo. Is that long enough? It is. I'm just doing this. <laughs> Not even taking it off the plastic thingy. No, it doesn't look like leather. A little bit. I should have done no, it. It's, it's going to be fine. Because now I'm just going to age it up again with um, rounded corners. Yes, I'm going to round corners first. Where's my corner rounder? Over here, larger setting, I think so. Yes, larger setting, this, this and this. Yes. And with scorched timber, I'm going to do the, the edges. Does it sort of start to look like leather? Well, it's supposed to. Yeah? Okay. Let's see. I'm going to put it... 
on the back of the signature for a tiny bit, like say an inch, say an inch. So I'm going to score at, this is going to be the back, at an inch. Mm, a little bit more, no, no an inch, an inch will do. Well, I scored at an inch. Okay, now I'm going to make um, one, two, three, four of a quarter inch. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's going to fold here. It's going to fold here. That is too much. Um, I'm going to do it at three because actually the spine is also three quarter inch. So you cannot make it bigger than the spine. But that's quite all right. I am going to, however, score two more because I just want to have the, the look of it that it has more score lines. Yes. Yes. Okay, so this is going to be on the back. This is going to be on the front. It's going to look like this. And I'm going to love it. Now, I want something to be on here that looks like a button. Do I want to do the inside as well? Yes. I want to do the inside as well. Oh my gosh, she did the inside with the... Is there any... Oh, I'm sorry, guys ink on left on here probably is i'm just gonna do this stamping it off on here yes that worked even better than the front if i might say so myself okay um brad's here on the back yeah i need something that looks like a button now i'm gonna go through my digital kit because there are lots of small circles in there i'm going to find a lovely circle that i can punch out and have on here that looks like a button or a push something that pushes let me find some i found something these are one of the postcards i already cut them out and i want to have this one here and this is my three quarter inch uh, circle punch and it fits almost perfectly so there okay that was i, wa I really wanted to back it with something to make it a little bit um heavier so i'm just gonna i've taken out a piece of scrap paper you want to do uh, two of them? Yes. I want this to be a little bit heavier. So, uh, I have glitter glue. Because that dries much faster. I'm going to glue all three of them together. And there we go. Yes. I'm going to sort of do this. Yes, age it up a little bit. You don't want to see all the white ones. Yep. Okay, it's going to go here. And it's going to be fantastic. I'm going to put a brat in as well. <laughs> more brats, more brats. Now we're going to do something with shorter legs. Um, because I'm going to put the Velcro dot right behind it fantastic punch it here yes oh should also punch it here mm, here yes okay this one this one Yes, 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 yes. Oh gosh, guys, it's gonna look like this. Awesome, very awesome. Does it need anything else? No, I'm going to put Brad um, here as well. I'm gonna glue it first, just gonna glue it on. And then I'm going to attach Brad's uh, just for decoration. And I'm going to cover it with probably something lovely. I'm gonna glue it on first. Just on the back piece. Yes, it's going to cover up. Leaving a little bit of room for the rest of the signature. 
uh, a little bit more room a little bit more room yeah yes it is on now i need two holes for the brats these have some bigger legs so i need to make sure they will fit one here and one here I'm going to cover this up with with something lovely from the kit because I have so many things. Where's the other one? Here. You could also use a real piece of leather, of course, but but I didn't. So there. Velcro dots. The woolly part is gonna go on here so you won't even see this can we do a little bit of grunging do i have some something brownish well sure well sure and putting this on here oh do not stick on my fingers thank you very nicely there we go yeah, closing it up. Leaving room, guys. You need to leave a little bit of room because this journal will probably grow. <laughs> and then adding it here. Oh my gosh. Isn't that the coolest? Should have stamped something here. I can. You can, you know. Should have stamped a lovely number. I'm going to put a number on there. But I'm going to tell you, I, I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving this. So cool. So here's what I have done for the tap. I've taken out Moby Dick, my big uh, wheel tail tap punch. This one, love it. And I've sacrificed a piece of the file folder because you know I have a big piece left. And I made this into sort of leather. Put in the the brats. I did not make it double. I did not double it up, guys, because I really wanted to have it just on here. Yeah. And so I'm just gonna glue it on, making sure the the legs of the brats are on the inside. Okay. Lots of glue. There we go. I do not want to cover anything of the of the pen. Yes. Hold please. <laughs> Hold please. You are color number nine. Hold please. There you go. Worked. Worked. Love it. Love it. Look. Ta-da. Ta-da. Okay. And I had another idea for this in the back. We needed to cover up the brass. Already. Already put tape on it. Yay for me. Um, I've been smart, guys. I've been fussy cutting all the pages. So I have these sort of plastic sleeves. I have the original page. And then I cut everything out. So I know where it's from <laughs> that's what you get when you have 16 pages i'm going to use the big one yeah and i'm just going to glue it here um i will however make it into a, a side loading pocket so it's going to be open here inked all around it there we go i'm going to try to put it as close to the edge as possible because of the brats that are here it will leave a little bit of a bump but that's that's okay because i'm gonna put stuff in as well could stamp something here i could do i could do lots of stuff lots of stuff it's the brat it leaves it leaves for a bump but i don't mind because it just looks cool it just looks cool okay oh guys i have so many more ideas uh but not enough time because i want to put something here pocket here yeah and what else i need to add stuff everywhere and we haven't even touched this 
I'm going to make a pocket here first. Well, let me zoom you out a little bit. There we go. Uh, I've used a piece of this postcard. Cut this out. So I'm just going to use this. Scissors. Oh, I'm going to be adventurous. Uh, it's too big. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it here straight up. Like so. Because I want to use this lovely bit here. And then uh, I want to keep this. So I'm actually going to slant the pocket. Like so. Great. Great. Uh, neat, neat inking. I just washed my hands. Now I'm going to get them dirty. <laughs> yep. There we go. Oh, it looks lovely. Leaving the top open, guys. Just on two sides. Two or three? I'm going to do two. It's going to be more like a tox pot thingy. So if the card is a little bit bigger, then it will still fit in. I'm not going to put it all the way to the edge of the page. Leaving a little bit of room. Now, I was thinking because I have this field notes thingy. I might want to use it. Scissors. Where's my scissors? Make room. I need to cut it out. Make it into sort of a label. I've made labels for the kit. It wasn't necessary at all because actually this comes full of labels. I got a couple of questions. I can't read this. Nobody can. Uh, and that's intentional. Most of it you cannot read. Yes, just lovely. <laughs> just going to put it there. Some big words like the field notes and such you can read. But most of it, it's sort of scribbly bibblies. Scribbly bibblies. Fantastic. Does it need a thing here? While we're here. Does it need a thing? Oh, I have more of these. Um, this says notes. No. No. No to notes. Uh, but I also have my labels, of course. Somewhere buried underneath everything. Here they are. Big one, small one. No, 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 no. Not this one. Go for a smaller one. Oh, something weird. Yes, with something green. It was a lot of cutting, so I left out these bits. <laughs> Needs inking. So you just want to add a little something. Not necessary at all. But hey. Why not? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to flip... Hello. Oh, close it up. Close it up. Why don't you love? Yes. Look. Handy. <laughs> Very handy. Oh, close this up as well. I want to do something here. I know I'm going to cover it up, but it's going to be lovely. I'm going to make uh, another sort of, I think, slanted pocket from another piece of paper. Let me get something out. I have this page with all the lovely card pocket tag thingies. <laughs> You can make it into anything you want, guys. It does have a notch on the top, so I'm going to make this actually into a top-loading pocket. Uh, but you flip it over, then fall, uh, stuff falls out. It won't, because it will be sort of a tight pocket, and it will have a tall, narrow tag in it, or something. So I'm going to make it top-loading. I wasn't going to, but, you know, changed my mind. I'm pretty sure whatever I put in here will not fall out when I flip it down. Inked all around it. There you go. There you go. Yes. I was thinking. To add a something. Now I'm just you know, searching for it. <laughs> um, 
Should we put on another label? Do we want to cover anything up? A smaller one. Okay, smaller one then smaller one. But a little bit darker, not the same color as the... You've made too many. I know. I have made too many. actually sort of the same image will that work i'm gonna go for this one yep and then this is gonna go fantastic Do we want something on the top? Yes. <laughs> These are just the labels. I have so many other sort of small uh, bits and bobs in here that you can use for decorating. But let's just try some labels. Yes. Great. Yes. Pocket. Okay. Uh, inside. So I've taken out this page, one of my favorites, uh, because it has so many lovely elements on them. Um, and I'm thinking, I'm just going to take some out. I'm thinking the, the sort of B on here with, with a something and a something. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Just yes. Honestly, you cannot go wrong with these. <laughs> Everything is a yes. And stamping, guys. Do stamping. Um, I just want to do more of the sort of ephemera pieces. Do this. But by all means, you know, take out dates from the past or signatures from the past. Or your field notes. Add a number. Yep. Am I in frame? I'm sorry guys, this piece is large. Let me show you. It looks like this. So lovely, yes. Do we have a, a tiny something? Oh, I have these vials. Uh will that work? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna put one on. I have two of them, two or three. I just think they look cool. Is it upside down? I don't know. Don't know, but it's gonna be like so. No, it's not upside down. Yeah. Stamping here. Maybe maybe a tiny something. Maybe a tiny something. Do we have we have this? No, that doesn't work on here. Label? Do you want label? There's already label on here, love. I know, but I have more. I have more. Yep. And you can even cut this out, yeah? If you wanted another label. If by chance you d didn't have enough labels already. <laughs> Do not put it on the fold. Will it still fold? Yes, but I do want it to stick out for a little bit. Yeah. Done. 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 Do we need something here? Probably stamping. Let me move it up. Oh, you can put it like so. Oh, that's cool. Um, yes. Lots of shadows now. I want to do a little bit here. Something here. And um, add a side loading pocket here. I have two pieces for this page. I've taken out this one, 
with the ring binding and I cut out all the small elements and there's one piece on here actually the bottom piece I also cut this off uh, that, so now it's half a label that I want to add here to the bottom ink around it so label written on fantastic there we go and then from where is the one with all the pockets with all the tags this one i should have named or numbered them um i've taken out this i'm going to add it here as a side tuck now you are probably a journaler hello journal on it by all means that's what they are made for i am actually not a journaler uh, I like making them, but I don't journal myself. So add, add more. Does this need anything? I think, oh, it's stamping. Uh, but I'm not going to do any stamping. I think I want to add something here. What do we have? Oh, small little tag with this. Oh, cute. Two foliots next to, yes, two foliots next to each other. Be adventurous. No worries. Do we have a strippy with something? Oh, I have a strip with numbers. Does that work for you? Is it making it nicer? It's not. I also have a smaller strippy here. With some stuff. No, it's not making it nicer. Write on it, stamp on it. I think this is done. Yes, we did this. Um, does this need anything else? Of course it doesn't. Well, I, may, I smudged it here with my fingers. Um, so, add a small little something like this or this vial. <laughs> No, I'm going to put this somewhere else. Oh, this one. Also like this one. Yeah, came from uh, this page. I'm going to go botanical. <laughs> Does it need inking? No, it has a black border all around it. I'm going to cover up my smudgy finger thingy there. Oh yeah, that works really well. Finished, finished. Of course, lots of decorating on the inside of the, of the journal, for sure. Uh, did we add this? No, this was already here. Do we need something there? A vial with... A label thingy. Looks cute. Cute, cute, cute. Stamp something here. Okay, then this is the only part of the inside of the cover that I actually want to add something to. Let me find something fantastic. That wouldn't be uh, difficult because it's all amazing. Found a couple more pieces that I want to put on. Uh, guys, I'm not even going to show you where. It's from the kit. <laughs> because I took it from everywhere. This is actually on one of the, the label um, pages. I'm going to put this here. This one here. Yeah, I'm going to have this here that says field notes, very small. And then this is going to go sort of underneath there. Yeah, okay, start with this one. I did uh, punch the hole. You could also put in a real eyelet. That would be fantastic. But I didn't. Okay, 
Okay, and this will go here. But first, we need to put the bottom label on. You could also use this for writing, of course. I want to make this into a tox box. That doesn't work. It is a little bit raised, but uh, doesn't hold anything. There we go. Yes, it goes here. I want to have this one on. This is just a small collage. No pockets, fancy stuff, just a collage. Now it needs to be further here. Yes, and then this needs to go there. Yeah, yeah. All the way to the edge. Just lovely. See, it sticks out a bit. I really enjoy it. Great. Uh, there's only one more thing that I want to do. Do we want something... Um, see, it's already getting bulky. <laughs> do we want something... I don't think I want to add here, guys. Because it's already just so lovely. Maybe a big label sticking out. No, do not put another field notes on it. doesn't add a lot no so i'm gonna look at the back oh we need to do something here mm, stamping okay um are we gonna cover it up it's so lovely we're gonna leave it as is i think i might one label not this one one that you can sort of write on or or this Yes, it is. Sort of a spot where you can actually journal on. Or stamp something on. Has a label here as well. No pocket in the back. Well, it was the plan, but decided against it. Yeah. I'm not even making this into a pocket. Believe me, it has enough pockets already. There you go. Needs one tiny thing. I know I'm going to take out a tiny thing. Um, new. New. Oh, we have this. So cool, right? Yeah. You can also make this into a tab on a, on a tag or something. Now it looks like there's something in here. There's not. <laughs> yes. Going to think about this. I might add uh, another one of this. I am. Um, I'm going to add another one of these. I could probably decorate this journal for hours and hours to come. But that's it for uh, today. Um, I'm going to show you what we did this day. And next week, um, I'm going to fill it up with ephemera and, you know, finish it. So this Monday, it will be finished. I'm going to do a video Monday making ephemera using the kit. Some file folders, some other stuff that you can use uh, if you're going to make this journal. Or for any sort of journal that you want to make okay let me show you the end result for today uh, as you can tell i've changed the closure because that it was way too busy on here and i really wanted to showcase uh the eyelets more so i put it on the side yes yeah, just cute uh i put another one of the spines on so i had to print it two or three times but well, that's quite all right i really like it it does look like sort of a, a book spine uh on the back we just added this simple this is brilliant. I really love it. Especially 
uh, when it's open, if you remove this sort of closure all around it, there we go. Oh, it's brilliant. It is just brilliant. Uh, I was thinking this could work so well with a nautical journal as well. So remind me when I start my nautical journal, probably during the summer, um, to do this and remind me of doing a nautical journal. So uh, we already went over an hour, guys. So I am not in a hurry anymore. <laughs> At the front, we didn't do anything to it. I might add a something here. Later, later. Then we have this. I really like this image. I could have made this into a pocket. Looks like I could have made it into a pocket. I actually cannot because this folds up. See, so there's actually yay much room left to put something in. And that was not enough room. I might do some embellishing with some stamping or, or a what have you. So you open it up like so. Then there's this journal. I love this idea. I've never done it before and I've never seen it before. But I absolutely love the idea. It's just really, really cool. Yeah. Stay close, please. Yes. Um, let's start here. We just did a little bit of decorating here. Open it up. Pocket here with some decorating. Put a lovely uh, tall, uh, just, you know, a tag or a card in. There are so many cards in here. You can use whatever. And just a lovely collage. Yes, you can sort of stamp here or write here or... I, I could, I could. Before I show you the journal, let me show you this. Yeah. Um, pocket, tall, skinny pocket. It will fit a tall, skinny tag card what have you and then you pull it down like so there you go i'm gonna show you the top first double pocket 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 yes so you can put two layers in we did some lovely decorating but by all means guys leave this blank do some journaling some stamping some what have you what have you and then this one uh it needed a tab so i added a tab I hope you don't mind. Uh, same same way as we did this one with just the brass on, on one side and not on the other side. A little bit of decorating. We added this. You could do journaling. You could do stamping. You could do whatever. See? Oh, I love this idea. This idea is just the coolest. Just the coolest. Uh, have a label here. And we made a lovely talk spot. Put something in. Do some journaling. Do some what have you guys. Yes. And then you flip it back. And flip it back. Um, love this idea with the button on it. It sort of feels like a, a push button now. I had to cover a boo boo up here. It's quite all right. Okay, we open up. Not a lot of embellishing in here yet, but you know, you can put all sorts on. Uh, lovely pocket here. Love the image. Then we have some French handwriting. Very old. This is coffee dyed paper with a doily. There's a little bit of silver in here as well. I didn't make this, guys. I got this in Happy Mail, I think. Uh, this is from the 60s, 1964. Uh, it has a pocket. It's in French. It's typed. It's actually from something, a legal doc document or from the police. I don't know. Uh, an invoice. You can do some more writing here and here and do all sorts of journaling. Now, this is what I did. Yes, I did not put a label on. I decided against it. Because I just wanted it sort of more blank. And then you open it up. Do some whatever you feel. Yeah. Antique ledger. This is antique. So beautiful. Write on it. Stamp on it. Decorate it. Music paper. Coffee dyed. Uh, this came from a notepad. It is older. It is older. Uh, because I can see by the by the numbers of the telephone is a little bit older, but not antique or, so, or something like it. Do I did do do this myself? Yes, this is my sort of coffee dyeing. Yeah. Um, this is from a French letter that I really like. When was it from? I did keep the top part of it. It did have a date on it. it was from 1963. I cut this off because it was just too pretty with this on it. I might add it somewhere else. In the journal. But for now it's a lovely scrap. Another sort of tuck spot. This is the middle. Again with this in the center. Just looks like it. It's like a ring bound planner. Whatever thingy. Yes. Another pocket here. Blank space. This is the other side of the beautiful French hand written letter. Coffee dyed paper. Music paper. This already was like this. And I decided not to cut it off. Because it's just a bonus. Bonus. The other side of the ledger. 
the beautiful ledger isn't that fantastic uh real antique ledger and this is the digital letter uh, ledger yeah this is the same as we did on the back the receipt or the invoice actually came from 1942 which was during the war so well yeah that's different i absolutely love this i absolutely love this um there was a paper clip on here at one point and it's sort of uh oxidized so it's, it's a rusty paper clip i'm thinking i need a stamp of a paper clip and then stamp it in a rusty hinge or something to make it i think i have one i need to go look for it um another pocket here coffee dyed paper uh the handwritten um it is french and dutch both of them yeah and we had to make a pocket here because of the brass that we put put in here it's a little bit of a bump in here i don't really mind it's just pretty could have just glued it down as well yeah and then we have this on the back on the back yeah so that's it for today guys i really hope you enjoyed it i am enjoying myself so much with my own kit i know <laughs> so much fun um the kit of course it is linked below i keep saying it but i know all of you already have it because while i'm filming it i'm hearing bzz, bzz, everyone is buying it thank you so much guys uh for supporting me and i'm hoping you have fun with uh, with it uh i'll be back again this monday so no not a video on sunday i'm, I'm taking a rest day well deserved one uh i'll be back monday guys with another video using the kit and um a piece of the file folder and making lots of lovelies that you can use also in other projects so have a fantastic weekend wherever you are stay dry stay warm stay safe yeah until monday see you then bye guys